Billy back at it again with another Let's Review, and today we're reviewing game 2 out of 136. I want to thank you for clocking in, and today we're reviewing Tomb Raider on the PS1. The first one, of course. Short Let's Review, because how could we even review this game that much? It's an adventure game starring Lara Croft, and the gameplay is pretty interesting. Anyways, let's get started with this week's Let's Review It. Look at these graphics! This is the worst age game I've ever seen in a video game. I mean, look at this! Is that a Minecraft lighting glitch or something? Look at this! It looks like somebody just nut on the wall! Like, what is that? Please explain that to me! And guess what this is? This video is even upscaled to 1080p through my converter. Like, what is going on here? I can't even imagine playing it on the original resolution that this game was supposed to be played at. Okay, I know I'm kinda mad, but honestly, don't even get me started with the controls, please. The first time I picked it up and I first bought it, it was so bad, I was like, what a waste of money. But once you got used to the controls, like I did today, I was thinking it all makes sense now. And I could get through the game a bit easier, but there are no analog controls, which is like, what? There was only D-pad and a really weird physics for the game, so the controls does not help it. A weird thing if you hit side on the d-pad, it makes you jump to the side for no reason. Pressing circle makes you do this parkour rule, but when you're done with it, it makes you face the complete opposite direction and it's not helpful at all. Okay, okay guys, just calm down. I know I can't negative talk the whole game throughout the video, but the graphics and the controls are just so weird. But this game was released in 1996 for the PlayStation 1. But the N64 had good graphics and had good controls and stuff like that. So there was no excuse for Tomb Raider to have this. And I guess I can't do anything about it. And it's kind of too late. If you can get used to it on how the graphics look, it takes about 6 hours to beat this game. And it is on the cheap side. So be my guess if you want to try it out. But good luck. Well, you should just play the new one instead. And stay away from this one. Okay guys, that was Tomb Raider 1 on the PlayStation 1. Hopefully you enjoy this week's Let's View It. And, you know, I feel bad for the kids that had to play that game back in the day. I probably had it, but no one played it because it really wasn't that good. The graphics, like I said before, the graphics were okay. The controls were, could have been way better. But at the time, I guess it was really good and really, hmm. So guys, thanks again for watching this week. Let's review it. We have six more to go already. Hopefully you watch all the future videos of Alpha Clock and hopefully watch all my Let's Review It's. Build in, out. Hey guys, hope you really liked that video. And if you did, please... Like, comment, share, and subscribe. You should also check out our Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. See you again soon! soon.